So hello everyone, uh, a formal good evening to all of you. Uh, I am Anshul Mathur and I am working as a lead engineer in the test automation department at QA Infotech Noida. My topic for the day is an automated itinerary for test accessibility. As the name suggests, I'm going to talk about a recent integration that we have made at in-house at our at our organization regarding executing the accessibility accessibility test in an automated fashion. So it essentially is about an automation framework which is designed in a way to integrate the functional tests alongside the accessibility test and execute them together at one go. Now in the present era where uh, imparting accessibility in, into a web application is not only seen as a social or a moral obligation, but it's also as a, you know, it's seen as a business opportunity because a lot of specially able people are now willing to access the web and consume the services. So it has become all the more important for us being testers to do those accessibility testing in a more formalized and, and organized manner. At QA InfoTech, we do have a dedicated accessibility testing team, you know, with specialized engineers. And our research team have been closely working with them to find out the methodologies that they, you know, follow. And of course, the reports that they generate, the output of accessibility testing. So as to understand the requirements and then provide a solution that assists the accessibility testing to be, you know, to happen in a, in a more efficient and less time-consuming uh, scenario. So the output of that effort is this automation framework that I'm going to demonstrate today. So on this note, let me move on to the agenda items. First of all, I'll go over uh, the available approaches to accessibility testing. We'll see a few tools which are already being used and the value that they're adding. The problems that they, these tools possess and of course offer are also you know, under scrutiny. So I'll go over those problems one by one and analyze their impact on the actual testing procedure. Then those problems will lead us to the solution that I'm trying to make, the proposed framework. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a working demonstration of the framework that we've built alongside the architectural details of the framework, which will help all of us to understand and you know the framework as a whole from end to end. Then we'll move on to the advantages that the framework have, uh, uh, and it has a lot of them. Uh, moving on, I'll quickly put forward a case study that I have. You know, we're working with a lot of clients. Uh, we have uh, used this framework for them. So there are some numbers that would assess you know uh, my proof of concept. Eventually, I'll do a conclusion uh, with some key points and takeaways. 